This is a 360 degree video. Swipe left or right across your mobile device or click and drag with your desktop mouse to look around. Have fun! Just like us, farm animals need to eat. But they can't exactly go to the grocery store or pick up a pizza. So where does their food come from? Welcome to a Canadian feed mill. In this video, you'll learn all about how feed for animals is made. Ready? Let's go! Animal feed is made from a combination of grains, co-products, and vitamin and mineral premixes. Ingredients arrive by transport trucks or in bags. When the trucks arrive at the feed mill, the first thing they must do is tell the mill's receiving office who they are and what they're hauling. Each truck driver has a barcode that they scan. That barcode tells the receiver at the mill where the truck has come from and what they're hauling. After they've been identified, the truck driver must have their load weighed and tested. Here, you can see a truck driving onto a scale to do just that. Once the weight of the ingredient has been recorded, samples are taken using a traveling probe operated by the lab technician. Here you can see a sample being taken from the grain in the truck. The probe is slowly maneuvered down into the load of grain, where it will suck up a small sample of grain through a pipe that ends inside the testing lab. You can see the sample arriving in the lab here. Providing high quality nutritious feed to animals is of top priority at a feed mill, which makes the lab at a feed mill a very important place. In the lab, all different types of ingredients are tested and inspected for quality. Grains are tested for how well it has dried, and other ingredients are analyzed for overall nutrient content. Only after the ingredient has been tested and approved can it be unloaded into the mill. Some trucks are dump trucks. The container is attached to a hydraulic lift that raises one end high into the air, while the contents of the container are poured through a graded opening in the floor of the unloading area. The other unloading method uses gravity. The container is built in a V-shape and once the doors are open, the grain simply flows down through the door and into another graded opening. Ingredients are unloaded into large underground receiving pits and then moved by a drag conveyor into an elevator. The elevator takes the ingredient to the top of the mill, where it's moved into tall storage bins called silos by more conveyors. How is feed made for animals and what's in it? Let's find out. Right now we're down in the basement of the mill. Here feed is mixed together with liquid ingredients such as molasses or soy oil, which are stored in these large tanks. To make feed, first ingredients are weighed out and then mixed together according to a recipe. Very much like how you might use a recipe when baking or cooking at home. Monitoring the mixing of feed ingredients is very important and closely watched by the control room operators. Then steam is mixed in to add moisture and heat to the ingredients so they'll stick together and then can be made into pellets using the large pellet machines that you can see here. Once the feed is formed together into pellets, it's dried with air in the cooler. When it's cool and dry, the feed is moved to loadout bins using conveyors and elevators, where it's stored until it's needed. At this feed mill, gravity is also used to move the feed around. That's why the mills are built so tall. To get to the top of the mill, you must take a small elevator, just like this one. Up we go! Here we are at almost the very top of the mill. All the pipes you see here are how the ingredient moves around the mill. At the very top of the mill are the shakers. The shakers sift out any dust from the feed that's made and sends those small particles back to the pellet mill for reprocessing. Back on the ground floor are the micro bins. Micro bins are small storage areas used to hold ingredients received by the mill in bags. Ingredients in the micro bins, such as vitamins and mineral premixes, are used in feed recipes in smaller amounts. Big farms and small farms can purchase feed from this feed mill. While feed delivered in trucks goes to large on-farm bins, feed can also be delivered in bags. Feed is put into bags and then stacked onto a wooden pallet using a robot arm. The full pallet is then wrapped in plastic to keep it steady and then moved into the warehouse 
which you can see here, to be stored until it's delivered to the customer. There is a lot going on at this mill. If you're wondering how everything is managed, it's time to visit the control room. The control room is a very important place in the mill. There are two operators in this room who control different aspects of the mill. If you look to your right, you'll see the operator who's responsible for controlling the receiving, mixing, and grinding of ingredients. Among other things, they monitor how full the bins are, which bins product will be stored in, and selecting the source, destination, and grinding size of ingredients. They also decide what type of feed needs to be made, based on the orders the mill has received from its customers. To the left, you'll see the second operator, who is responsible for balancing the settings of the pellet machines that turn the mixed ingredients into pellets for animals to eat. This operator keeps a close eye on several things, including the temperature of the feed, the horsepower of the pellet machines, and the quality of the finished product. To keep track of all ingredients and finished feed at the mill, barcodes are used to identify each ingredient and product. This is called traceability. Traceability allows the feed mill to keep track of everything they make, what it is, where it comes from, where it's stored, and where it goes once it leaves the mill. This allows the mill to ensure they're delivering a high quality product to their customers and that the farm animals are eating feed that's nutritionally balanced for their needs. When farmers need more feed for their animals, they order it from the feed mill. At this feed mill, many orders are received each day. Here, you can see a feed truck arriving at the farm to deliver feed. This is an egg farm, so the feed being delivered is made and nutritionally balanced specifically for hens that lay eggs. Using a barcode scanner, the truck driver scans the farm's barcode to ensure traceability and to verify he's delivering to the correct bin. Using a remote control, the driver moves a long arm from the feed truck into position over the door at the top of the feed bin. The feed is moved from the truck up through the arm and into the feed bin using augers. Once there's enough feed in this bin, the truck driver will move on to deliver feed to another farm. Thank you for visiting this Canadian feed mill. To learn more, please click on the other videos in this section.